According to Koga Skopo, the director of wildlife and the national parks, the ministry already started fixing the fence in 2011. Still, over the past six years, only 112 km of the 822 km long fence has been upgraded. The government is expected to spend about $491 million on the remaining 712 kilometers. Skopo maintains that, despite the budget constraints faced by the ministry, it remains committed to addressing the crisis in order to prevent human world conflict. He says a team of six officials has been tasked to fix the fence and also monitor the movement of both wild animals and livestock. We need then to have a response, response unit. We need to have a response team uh, that immediately then reacts to the situation and they, uh, they fix up the fence because to prevent um, the, the, the antelopes from also moving out of the park but also to prevent the livestock from getting into the park and we then avoid this contact uh, between wild animals and, um, and, and livestock. But most important also to prevent predators uh, like lions um, to move out of the park and cause uh, uh, incidents of uh, human wildlife conflict. This, this is the yellow part. This is the f area that we have now upgraded, the 115 kilometers. So here we have a game proof, game proof fence. Uh, and this area here, this is where we have the uh, cattle proof fence. Scopo also advised farmers to control the movement of their livestock. Tio Porta Ipunya, MBC News, Vendok.